We want to go to Georgia right now because the Secretary of State is holding a news conference. Let's check it out. To vote in Georgia. Elections matter. We held an election that was a safe, sensible, and responsible election for every eligible voter to access. Your vote counts. Perhaps for the first time, we had an election day in Georgia where the wait times were below 10 minutes across the state, and we did that while experiencing record-breaking turnout, handling unprecedented numbers of absentee ballot requests than ever before, implementing a new voting system, and adapting to the requirements of holding an election during a pandemic and recruiting new poll workers. Elections matter. And that was a total team effort. First, I'd like to thank every early voter who heard our call and voted early. You are the reason why Georgia had success. Thank you to every election official who met every struggle and every challenge. In the middle of a pandemic, it was tough, and we've overcome all the challenges. Great job. Thank you. Your vote counts. As we often pointed out, it is counties that in Georgia that actually administer the elections. And all Georgians owe a debt of gratitude to those dedicated public servants across the state who executed their duties well, and in most cases, flawlessly. Over 50,000 Georgians stepped forward to man the polls in their communities after many of our longtime workers had to step out because they were in a population that was vulnerable to COVID. Our job isn't done yet, though. And I want to thank my Deputy Secretary of State, Jordan Fuchs, for leading a great team, leading on our public service announcements that help shape and change voter behavior from in-person voting to early voting. To Gabriel Sterling, who managed the implementation of the state's new voting system, the largest of its kind in the history of this country. And thank you to Ryan Germany for protecting our state law. Judges are not legislators. Jordan, Gabe, and Ryan, thank you. You are tireless professionals who are proudly serving Georgia. And lastly, I would like to thank my entire team in the Secretary of State's office for their tireless work throughout the entire year. Elections matter. Counties made sure that voters have ac had access to many early voting locations, including mega sites like the State Farm Arena over a three-week period. Your vote counts. I'm happy to report that voters have responded favorably to using our new ballot marking devices. They found it easy to use, appreciated the security of a paper ballot, and liked seeing their ballots tabulated by the scanner. This election puts to rest the debates inflamed by those in our state, or not in our state, who have looked to sow doubt about our systems and those who have wrongly claimed there's a lack of access to voting. Elections matter. Completing this general election is a huge hurdle crossed, but it's far from the end of our work. We will have, immediately starting uh, today, working towards certifying this election and then preparing for state and local runoff elections on December 1st, and then the September a Senate runoff election between Senator Loeffler and Raphael Warnock on January 5th. This will require a monumental effort because we have a short window to get out absentee ballots for the December runoff to give voters time to return them. My team has sent reminders to counties to get all, let me repeat, all of our results counted today. Every legal vote will count. And I know that many of you probably have some questions. Uh, Justin. Well, I want everyone to know in the sound of my voice that every legal vote in Georgia will count. And right now we have about 200,000 ballots that are left to be counted. With the absentee ballot process, uh, we counties worked on scanning those as many as they could. And then there are also about 40 to 50,000 early votes that need to be counted. Every legal vote will be counted. We are saying that every legal vote will be counted in Georgia because that's our process and we follow state law. I hear you say that you want counting to be done 
today, is that realistic in counties with tens of thousands of outstanding absentee ballots, counties won elections? I don't, I don't know if they'll get it done today. Have you I know you said you communicated with the counties asking them to complete it today, but is that actually possible? We're pushing really hard for that. If we can get that down, if we don't get it there, but we get the number so small that then there's no question of who actually the winner is, I think that'll be helpful. Really remove a lot of those questions that people might have. Yes, ma'am. That'll be something I'll get with our election team, and we'll get that out as soon as we have that information. Well, it would always be a concern. We want to make sure everything get, gets uh, to us. Uh, don't have anything uh, specific on that. But that's why we also instituted the absentee ballot drop boxes. Our concern actually was that voters would wait too long and then it'd be too late to mail. And that's why we had the absentee ballot drop boxes, which was very well received by uh, voters in Georgia. So you don't have word that that took place? Yeah, I don't have anything specific, but as soon as we do, we'll circle back and get that information out to you. Can, can I get with this, ma'am? Well, it's uh, several counties, but we know that uh, DeKalb, Fulton, Forsyth, you know, uh, even has 7,000 voters. So it's really, you know, it's something when you have such a large number of absentee voters and then you have some early votes, it's really uh, m multiple counties, and we're just knocking those down one at a time. So the state election board gave the counties the authority that they could begin the process of scanning the absentee ballots, which is very helpful. So I know that down in Muskogee County and Richmond County, they were really uh, current with everything they had received, but then all of a sudden we also had additional ballots come in on Monday and then Tuesday, so they were being dropped in. So they had to, they had to scan those. And so they'll be uh, getting that as soon as they can, but it is a two-page ballot. It just takes longer to, to get those ready for the scanning process. Is there another question back there? Well, I know that right now that we have, uh, uh, my numbers here were 52 to 50, uh, 54,000 in DeKalb. Right now we have 74,000 approximately uh, Fulton County absentees. Uh, and 43,000 uh, early votes in um, Fulton County. And I have about 7,000 uh, right now in Forsyth. We can get you the entire list because uh, it's just we make sure we include all the counties. Well, the, the next process obviously will be to make sure we get all the all the ballots counted, then also the UOCAVA, the overseas military ballots, you know, to get those in and have them incorporated in the vote totals. We're going to begin the uh, risk limiting audit process later this week, which is really important. So many people uh, are not aware of that. This is the first time we're doing a statewide audit. And so what that will really give you, first of all, we have, I think, a higher confidence of voters. I know there's a lot of information out there, a lot of misinformation out there, and some of it's just lack of knowledge, and we, and we understand that. And that's why the risk limit and audit, what that will do will verify results. So if there's a race that was, say, reported a 51-49, when we do the audit, then we can verify what the result is, and we have over a 90 percent confidence level. That gives people additional assurance. I think also having that paper ballot, voters were very uh, comfortable. They just gave them that comfort feeling that look, looked at it before they cast their ballot, and that's a good thing also. Then by Friday, November 13th, we then will have the certification. So nothing is certain certified until bef after we do the risk limiting audit. Well, if there's a race that was in a half percent, it is your right as the candidate that is close but not, but not over the top that you could ask for a recount. So we actually could have a, a request for, say, a state representative, county commission race, or any race that's within half percent, and we'll just wait till we get every ballot counted, and that's why it's very important that we follow through the process. 
It'll, it'll be actually pulling out, uh, running those through, and then it'll be actually uh, seeing where that brings us, and then you're looking at the words that are on the, on the ballot at some point. Uh, the, Well, if they do, then they'll uh, follow through that. That's the advantage of having the verifiable paper ballot, that you can rescan that. But that's, so that's why if, if some of the ballots do kick out. And the reason they kick out is everyone, if they don't fill out the ballot correctly or they put an X or they circle a name, that's why we have the adjudication panels of a Republican, Democrat, and then the election official to have three sets of eyes on there to verify that. With, so we want at least a 2-1 uh, you know, adjudication vote on each ballot so we can make sure that we capture the correct voter intent. Is there a legal challenges made to votes cast before 7 o'clock yesterday absentee ballots? Will your office and the state defend those ballots against legal challenges? Yeah, we want to make sure that we follow state law. We are always going to look at what is the state law, and that's why Ryan Germany, our legal counsel, can answer any legal questions you have. But we, we want to make sure the law is very clear and we follow the state law, and we don't believe that judges should legislate. Oh, no, it's uh, really going much quicker, and that's why we're really pleased with the state election board allowing us to scan that. If you look at some of these states, this morning is when they actually opened up their absentee ballot you know, boxes, and that's when they started actually the process of separating out the absentee ballots. It's a, that's a very extensive process, verifying the signature and going through there, separating it out. We have saved days and days. You're going to be waiting a long time at some of these dates, much to many people's consternation because we understand it's a close election. Yeah, we're doing fine, and we're really pleased with uh, – we'll be off everyone's radar, and they'll be worried about the states up north. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.